So a while ago I made a video about the terminated inverted U antenna as a way of getting on 80 metres from uh, a restricted space, a small garden. And uh, don't get me wrong, it was a good antenna, it's a compromise antenna, but it, it was a good antenna, I've still got it, I still use it. But I've always wondered what would happen if we scaled that antenna up, would it work on a big scale? Now, the problem we've got is getting enough space and uh, I've got three acres here, so I think we've uh, we've ticked that box, and uh, it's private property as well, so there shouldn't be anyone else here, so no one's going to trip over the wires. You can just about see behind me, there's a mast there. That is six metres tall, and directly above my head, you probably won't be able to see it on the camera, is a um, long piece of wire, uh, which goes to another mast over there, the distance between the masts is about 70 75 meters so the, the wire goes from the ballon up the mast uh, six meters high about 70 meters from one side of the field to the other above my head now and back down the other mast another six meters so uh, let's uh, hook that up to a radio and uh, maybe do a couple of whisper tests and uh, see what we get Right, here's your close-up. So what I've got set up here, this is the far end, the resistor end, and uh, the ballon is at the other end of the field. I'll show you in a second. Um, so essentially, you've got your earth rod there, and if you remember, you've got the vertical radiating element, which is uh, this uh, steel pole here, and that connects to the ground via this resistor. So I've got this piece of tarpaulin here just to uh, insulate the um, antenna or insulate the mast from the ground because I don't want it earthing and you can see it's a bit mucky in here it's uh, been raining and condensation so I've got a wire connected onto the mast just clamped on here into my resistor out my resistor into my earth rod and then uh, the radiating element is actually the mast itself all the way up the mast it's a six meter tall mast and uh, you won't be able to see the uh, uh, wire slung across the field on the video. What what you can see in the picture there is the um, guy rope for the mast, but it goes all the way across the field to where that caravan is over there, and uh, that's where the radio is. Uh, there's another mast on the other side of the field, which is about 70 meters away. Uh, wire connects to that mast, and like I say, the mast is the radiating element down to the ground. I've got the same setup. The other end with the tarpaulin and it connects through my 9 to 1 ballon and then uh, feed a cable into the caravan. Just to show you the other end, same as before, mast is uh, insulated from the ground by a sheet of tarpaulin and yes, okay I know it's gash but whatever. Then you've got a wire coming off the mast here, so the mast is your driven element into the uh, ballon, that's a 9 to 1 ballon and then uh, into my earth rod there via that cable there and then uh, feed a cable straight up into the caravan there and uh, that's where I'm going to be running it from and uh, like I say it goes uh, up the mast and then uh, six meters up and then yeah you can't see it against the sky all the way down to the uh, other mast way down the other end of the field 70 meters away there you go so um, let's uh, connect up the laptop do a bit of whisper testing and uh, let's see what happens Okay, conclusion time then. Terminated, inverted, U scaled up. Did it work? The long and short answer is, well, no, if I'm honest. Um, not a total surprise, and I'll explain why in a second, but uh, I've had a chance to uh, get it on air, and uh, I've tried a couple of SSB contacts, and uh, 
also done a little bit of whisper testing as well. Now I'll show you the plots for uh, 40, 80 and 160. The, the plot for 160 leaves a little bit to be desired to be honest. It, on 40 it's, it's deceptive, it looks like it's working but it's, it's not great to be honest and uh, I tried to make a couple of SSB contacts and my signal was way down. I, I made the contacts but the signal was way down. 80, I didn't make any contacts whatsoever. A um, few stations picked up on uh, Whisper but nothing on uh, SSB and 160 frankly was a complete and utter flop. Um, the reason for that I think is um, you think of the uh, diagram I showed you in the last video and I'll, I'll put it up again on this video. Um, you're basically relying on the circuit so you're coming out of your radio going into the 9 to 1 ballon then you've got your radi radiating element goes up the mast across and down and then you've got your earth which connects to the earth rods so you're basically relying on the earth connection between the two rods now in my home station where those rods are only uh, five ten meters apart it works fine you put those rods uh, 70 meters apart then uh, it's it's not going to work and the the hint that I got was the SWR was quite high as well now it wasn't insurmountably high that I couldn't um, tune it out with the onboard tuner but uh, it's it was higher than my setup at home and it just wasn't getting out so it it was an interesting experiment but uh, I had a pretty good feeling that it wasn't going to work now could you make it work by running a wire between the two earth rods and uh, putting a couple of earth rods along the route between the two masts maybe but and that is what's suggested on uh, the Cross Country Wireless website. But you know what, this is still an inefficient antenna because you're burning a lot of your power in the resistor. So it, it's inefficient, it's, it's a compromise antenna. And yes, you probably could get it working by connecting the two earth rods together and putting extra earth rods along the run, but from a practicality point of view, if you've got this much, if you've got this much space, then uh, you can you can do a lot better. To be honest, you could even something like a doublet or a, a long wire. So interesting experiment, but uh, fundamentally, uh, I think I'm going to call that a failure. Thank you for watching. If you like what I do, please click the thumbs up button. It lets me know that I'm heading in the right direction with the channel and gives me the confidence to keep doing what I'm doing. Don't forget to click the subscribe and also the bell button to be notified when I upload new content. If you don't like what I'm doing, feel free to click the thumbs down button. Just tell me why in the comments below. I welcome your feedback and constructive criticism will help me to improve the channel. Take care and I hope you will catch me in the next video.